Okay, so one of the first jobs I need to do is figure out if I can use the soil that's excavated straight out, so without adding any extra sand or aggregate to it. So, a bit out of breath, just push the wheelbarrow up the hill, so dig a little hole, get some soil, do some tests, see how much it expands and contracts and all that other stuff, so we'll do that now. kind of know the characteristics of this bit of land here and I know that there's topsoil it isn't very thick and then we get down to uh, quite a dense clay subsoil and then that stays the same quite a way down I don't actually know how far down because I've never gone down far enough to um, to properly see but I know that it's quite far a couple of meters at least right got a wheelbarrow full of subsoil so I can see straight away it's quite nice there's quite a lot of uh, stone in here little stones little bits of aggregate which is nice some bigger ones too that's good definitely a lot of clay probably a little bit too much clay so we're gonna test that but they are gonna f like like bind together really nice but what we need to find out is if this is really expansive clay or not because if it's going to expand and contract with moisture it's going to cause us problems so we're going to do that test as well so it's not looking too bad the stone is going to help a lot a lot of gravel in there find out how much sand's in there okay we'll go do some tests okay, so the first test we're going to do get some of this soil just the loose stuff and the stuff that will fit down through there and uh, fill it in this bottle if we mix up with water shake it about let it settle and we'll see uh, we'll see what the different layers tell us about the soil right soil and water in the bottle so now we shake that around really good get all that clay that's in there suspended we want all of that clay to be suspended in water so that's about right so then we just leave that now to settle out and we'll get a good indication of what layers of, of uh, material we've got in there. Remember when we did the uh, roundhouse series, I used these bags as a foundation filled with uh, grit and stone. So we're going to fill one of these up, tamp it down and let it dry in the sun and then open it up and see what sort of uh, properties it's got. Okay, so we've got this pallet down so we keep it off the ground. So I'll uh, tamp that down now make it into solid block, let it dry, and then we'll split the bag and we'll have a look at it. Okay, tamp down, feeling pretty solid. Sorry about the wind, it's just got really windy. So, we'll leave that now, and see what it looks like once it's all dried out. So the last test is gonna to be to make a cube and measure it and see if it changes in, well it will change, but how much it changes in size once it's, um, once it's dry. So we'll make a nice cube and we'll take some measurements. made so I'm gonna pop that on there now this obviously isn't a perfect test of, of accurate it's like not the most accurate test in the world but it's gonna give us a pretty good idea enough for what we need anyway the first thing I'm gonna do is draw around it because then I'll be able to see if it moves significantly on that spot because you have to bear in mind that some clays uh, expand and contract a huge amount so that's all we're trying to figure out is if it's a really bad clay or a not so bad clay essentially so we draw around it and then we'll measure it so all I'm going to do is just measure it at its widest points because I think that's probably easiest so we'll go 
I might even mark where I measure it. Yeah, that might be a good idea. So, if I come in here, it's slightly smaller than that. So there. Oh, exactly. Well, pretty much exactly 40 mil. So, I'll do a little drawing next to it, I suppose. Kind of like that. There, forty. Beautiful day out today. Makes a nice change. Nice frozen morning, as you can see. It's lovely. Got some tidying up to do out here. It's becoming a bit of a, a yard, and I don't want that. It's better than it was. I'm getting it slowly tidied up. Anyway. Back in the shed, so the uh, famous bit of drawing wood that everyone seems to love so much. So we've got the results of uh, some of our tests. This is now dry, um, just on first sort of inspection. It's looking like it hasn't dried. It hasn't moved that much. It hasn't cracked which is very good. Kind of disappointed with this test because it means that I might have been able to just use this straight for the cob mix rather than going through all the hassle of doing all the mix when I was building the house. So that's a little bit annoying but it's good news for our building so it doesn't seem to move that much if you have a look that's where it was roughly you can see that it has moved a little bit I don't know if you can see that, yeah you can so we'll take the measurements, we've got our measurements from beforehand that we roughly did, so it was 40 mil across before from these two little marks just there so we now have 38.59 so we've got, now we've got 38.59 Okay, so we've got our number, um, so I calculated the volume of the cube, um, so before it was uh, 500, uh, well, you can see anyway, um, so I've calculated the volumes and the difference, it's shrunk down by 14.3%, which is more than I thought it would, uh, uh, more than I thought it had, um, just quickly glancing over the numbers, but it's still not that bad, considering that was from completely wet to completely dry and it's also not got any of the larger stone that's in the mix because obviously I can um, get the larger stone to compact together like it would if it was in the in the bags so there's probably an additional 10% of you know stone sort of this sort of size so I, th I think that number is going to come down again quite a bit so I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with it it's not really really expansive so I think we're happy with that test um, it gives us a number anyway so we can go and research and see what sort of how bad that is compared to other clays I don't think that's very bad considering some clays can be way 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 higher than that so I'm quite happy with that so we can do some research on that, figure out if that's going to be okay. Now let's have a look at our next test. Okay, so the next test was the uh, uh, bottle soil test that we did. So it's hard to see on camera because of reflections and things, but pretty much all of this here is mostly grit, gravel, and then different grades of finer sand up to about this mark. And then this is all very, very fine clay. So that's what I'm interpreting anyway. So. We're about 50%, 50% clay. So, uh, but that's again not taking into account the uh, larger stone that's going to be in the in the mix as well because I couldn't fit the stone into the bottle and it would have been pointless. So, which was about 10% of the uh, of the mix. So, I think we're about 60, 40, which is a tiny bit high. We could do with another 10%, but I think we can get away with it. So we've got one more test to do, and we're gonna pretty uh, established whether we're going to get away with this or whether we're going to have to add extra sand or extra stone to it but I'm quite confident it's looking good so far so I'm very happy with that. 
So I've done some uh, some calculations and some research and we found out that 14.3% is actually quite high, which is no good. So what we're going to have to do about that is we're going to have to build in some designs to figure out, you know, um, there's going to be a lot of force on this building as the as the soil changes and expands and contracts, so we're going to have to uh, figure out some quite ingenious ways around that. So, one thing I can tell by 14% is that it's not going to be a problem to use this straight in the bags as it is, um, because if the bags uh, settle a little bit, well they won't, it'll be about 10% or so, if the bags settle by 10% and the building settles 10% while we're building it, not a problem at all, really not going to cause any, any trouble, and the bags themselves will stay at the same moisture content roughly throughout the year because they're going to be plastered. There will be some movement but really not very much so I'm quite happy with using this without adding anything extra uh, for the bag fill material but what I'm worried about is if we get our model. So considering we're going to have all of this force that's trying to expand you know this this soil is you know there's going to be a layer of stone but you know the, this soil is going to be pushing on this wall. So we are going to dig down and put a layer of stone, so it's not going to be huge amounts, but there is going to be uh, expansive soil pushing on this and under the foundation. So how are we going to get around that? So first thing, we're going to go quite deep foundations and fill them with compacted stone down to a, a more stable layer of clay. That should stop the building subsiding like that. Uh, second thing is that it's a fairly flexible building anyway, it's not built of concrete it can move a little bit, unlike if it was like poured concrete or something like that. So it can move a little bit without too much damage. Uh, third thing is we're going to have to implement good drainage, so to try and keep the soil sort of the same uh, moisture content throughout the year. So obviously these roofs are going to uh, drain off onto this soil here and we need a way of this water to drain away so probably going to have to put in some kind of drainage around the building sort of tank the building almost in drainage so the drainage from the hill up here comes down and bypasses the building and then runs off the roof into the drain and goes around the building as well keeping this area about the same moisture content and then the other thing we want to do is we want to make this retaining wall here really really strong so First thing is that this beam here, this uh, supporting post of the roof, which is the supporting the roof at this point, is going to be attached to the ground somehow, I've not figured out yet, but it'll be attached to the ground and there'll be some form of, I don't know, cable or something like that going from there through the floor, th sorry, through the wall and into the floor at the back of where the uh, car lift foundation is going to be. So that's going to be uh, what's called a dead man. So that's so that's going to be going back all the way to the to the middle of the floor there back there, to that um, car lift foundation. So that's going to help hold that that wall there a lot. We've also got the stairs, which we can incorporate as a dead man as well, because those stairs are already there, and we can build into the bank and use that as a dead man supporting this wall from this corner. So we need to probably put in another post over here down there so we've got another one on that wall there now I think if we do all of those things I don't think we'll have a problem so that's what we're gonna have to do um, so these are the steps I take when I'm starting to figure out like what's gonna happen and um, how the building's gonna react and I'm thinking yeah fairly deep foundations really strong retaining wall excavate out some of the expanding soil and replace it with stone and dead man and we should be fine. It, I'm no engineer or architect but my intuition for things like this is quite good and looking at things like this I can usually see issues with it. So we've got one more test to do and that's to have a look at the bags but I'm pretty sure the bag's going to be sufficient. So I've had this, uh, this um, earth bag here drying for quite some time now but it's just taking too long I'd like to get this video out so I'm going to cut it open see what it is see what it's like at the moment and then we'll probably revisit it once it's all dried out but I've got most of the information I need to know out of it already um, 
it has dried a bit and as you can see it has shrunk in the bag a little bit but nothing too significant nothing that's going to cause too many problems um, so yeah I'm going to cut this open we'll have a look at it So it's looking like it's got some cracks in it, but that's to be expected because I've moved it a couple of times and it's sort of broke in the middle. It should dry out a lot quicker now that the bag's off of it. If we can keep it somewhat intact, something like that maybe. I don't want it to sort of fall off it there. But yeah, you get the idea. So I've moved it a couple of times, so that's what these cracks are like. It has actually, it is actually pretty hard, it has dried out quite a bit. So we'll leave that to fully dry out, but you know, from the looks of it, it's probably done a lot of it shrinking by now. As you can see, it has done a bit of shrinking. I'm quite happy with it, I think we can just use this film material in the bag straight like that. I don't think it's going to cause any problems. It would be nice to have a bit more stone in there, but that's what we've got, so that's what we use. Yeah, so, like I say, we'll probably revisit this once it's properly dried out. But for now, that's uh, we're going to continue on. So, I'm um, sorry about the lack of videos recently. I've been um, planting trees, I've got two and a half thousand of them to plant and it's not that exciting for videoing and um, making a video but it's not the most exciting uh, thing to make multiple videos about. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to come and see the project and maybe have a look around, get a bit of a tour and help me plant some trees, let me know in the comments. Um, might as well while I'm down here show you what the house is looking like. The house is looking fine. It's all good, and I'll be doing a, um, a roundhouse update tour video fairly soon as well because I've done a few things inside. I've got um, mains, power sockets, and things like that, so I'll be doing a video of that fairly soon. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, hope it was informative, and we'll hopefully back to getting some more regular videos out. We're going to start excavating the workshop and stuff soon, so it's all going to kick off here soon when the, uh, when the ground dries out a little bit. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.